Hi everyone, decided to make a video. Uh, it's been what three weeks, four weeks that I put a video. I need to do some video editing to put part one and part two of the build. And uh, I decided to make a little walk around of the mail. So here it is. So guys, it took about Four months I started in June finish in beginning of October and uh, I did put a 9.5 horsepower engine uh, it's uh, come from a snowblower didn't have any throttles so I did install the cable with a throttle didn't came with an air filter because it's a snowblower engine I did put a air filter and work nice here is the uh, water system. I need to put a strap on it, hold it down. Underneath there is the adjustment valve. Here I have the uh, opening and closing valve. And uh, the head, saw head here, raise and lower with the winch here. It's uh, 1,300 pound winch from Moto Master, and the cable I did change it. It was a 1 8 of an inch cable. I did put the 316. I have a little pulley there, another little pulley there, up where the cable goes down on the side to attach on an eye bolt there, adjustable. And then the cable from that side goes up in the other little pulley here, goes back here and in this pulley here and attach up there. So this is the way it raise and lower the saw head. And the way I did build this is uh, those are two inch pipe and same thing down there same thing with the side assembly here this is two inch uh, by one eighth of an inch thick this one here the pipe on on the outside here that this one slide in is a two inch and a half 316 wall and I did install here a little one eighth of an inch flat bar inside so it doesn't move it doesn't wiggle and uh, I did put some adjustment there to hold it when I will raise and lower it if I have to do some maintenance I don't want to it's a safety and uh, I did put a, a bar here it's an angle two inch by two inch one eighth thick and this is preventing it from wiggling this way it doesn't wiggle guys you can shake it up it's pretty solid and uh, I liked it this way here same thing here two inch by two inch angle I'm able to unbolt this bolt here I can lift up the top here get the side assembly out if I want to so it's pretty uh, pretty heavy I did install the wheel here are four inch casted wheel with a little uh, grease fitting there those are not ball bearing but little rod bearing that roll on them inside this is a two inch uh, not a two inch but the six inch bolt here a half an inch diameter so here let's move to the bearing here and here the bearing is pillow block bearing shaft is one inch and one quarter there's two pillow block bearing the other one back there here you can see there's an adjustment here another adjustment there to for the tracking I don't know if you will see clearly here I did put a little 
flat bar here and this is not tick I think it's only one uh, 132 of an inch and uh, this is the only uh, adjustment I needed to do for the bearing there to get it perfectly horizontal so and the other adjustment you see here is for the track tracking of the wheel here the wheel inside to get it track it this way so your blade stays on it here I have nice handle it's a water pump handle here an old water pump was all rusted sand it down paint it up make a nice handle to push the blade the, the blade in the wood here I don't have a clutch I have this tightening mechanism here to engage the belt so and it holds down with this here just get it here and that's it the pulley here is three inches 3.8 the big one is 18 and three quarter of an inch wheels and sides are three quarter of an inch covers are in wood because I prefer it this way the blade did came off once and hit the inside wall the reason is because I back it up too fast and the blade came off here I have some uh, bearing everything is adjustable to get the blade level on the blade uh, dimension between the guide are 31 inch and I'm able to cut 43 inch uh, diameter here I have from the blade underneath I have a clearance of 10 inch so I will start it up here I have a poplar on the bench not on the bench but on the track and I have some adjustable where here log dogs to hold the log in place reason I do it this way is when you're making your first cut uh, you're gonna hit dirty wood but when you're turning your piece the blade goes this way in the wood and wood is all clean so let's start this and make a few cuts So I will put the camera down here. I'll just start the motor. And give it some gas.
A nice grain of wood, guys. Pretty nice. Love the color. So thanks again for watching and if you're not subscribed, uh, don't forget to subscribe, put a thumbs up if you like and uh, don't be shy, put some comments down below. Thanks again.